హలో నమస్తే ఫర్ మై ప్రజెంటేషన్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ ప్రణామ్ మై టాపిక్ ఇస్ ప్రణామ్ సో హియర్ కమ్స్ ద మెయిన్ క్వశ్చన్ వాట్ ఈస్ ప్రణామ్ అ వర్డ్ దట్ ఈస్ యూజ్ ఇన్ ప్లేస్ ఆఫ్ నౌన్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ ఎస్ ప్రణామ్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఐ మీ దిస్ దోస్ హీ హర్ హిమ్సెల్ఫ్ అండ్ ఎక్సెట్రా సో హియర్ ఇస్ అన్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఆఫ్ అ లైన్ ఆర్ అ సెంటెన్స్ విచ్ ఇన్ విచ్ ప్రణామ్ ఈస్ నాట్ యూజ్ స్మితా థ్యాంక్ రాజ్ బికాస్ రాజ్ హెల్ప్ స్మితా టు కంప్లీట్ స్మితాస్ వర్క్ so he is the he is the same line with using pronoun smitha thanked raj because he had helped her to complete her work pronoun refer to either a noun that is already been mentioned or to a noun that doesn't need a spe- name specifically so moving on to types or kinds of pronoun there are totally eight types of pronouns uh, those are personal pronoun possessive pronoun reflexive pronoun empathic pronoun demonstrative pronoun and indefinite pronoun relative pronoun and interrogative pronoun so moving on to uh, in depth to every single type of uh, pronoun come to the first pronoun personal pronoun personal pronoun represent specific people or things we use them depending on certain areas such as number person gender and case in terms of numbers if there is a singular form there is i if there are plural there are, it is we in terms of a person if there is it is a first person it is i if there is second person it's you and if it's third person it's basically he and in terms of genders uh, when it is male it is he when it is female it's she and it when it's neutral it's it and uh, also sometimes in case of a subject or object it's we and us so basically let's see some examples regarding personal pronouns i like coffee john help me do you like coffee karna loves you he runs fast and did ram beat him so in the following examples i you he me you and him are personal pronouns so moving on to the next pronoun next type of pronoun possessive pronoun we use possessive pronoun pronouns to refer a specific person people or a thing belonging to a person or a people and in case of number singular it's it's mine and in case of plural it's ours in case of person if it is first person it's mine if it's second person it's yours or if it's third person it's his and in terms of genders if it's male it's his and if it's uh, female it's hers example look at these pictures mine is the big one so here my pictures are the subject i like your flowers do you like mine so object here is my flowers i found john's key but i couldn't found yours so the object here is your key my flowers are dying yours are so lovely subject your flowers so moving on to the next type of pronoun reflexive pronoun we use reflexive pronoun when we want to refer back to a subject of a sentence or a clause reflexive pronoun ends in self when it is singular and self when it is plural there are eight reflexive pronouns in terms of singular it's myself yourself himself herself and itself in terms of plural ourself yourself themselves for example let's see some three to four examples regarding reflexive pronoun it's i saw myself in the mirror whereas myself is a reflexive pronoun why do you blame yourself whereas yourself is a reflexive pronoun so moving on to the next type of pronoun it's empathic pronoun an empathic pronoun is a pronoun such as myself herself and yourself that is used immediately after a noun to which it refers in order to show empathy an empathic for pronoun refers to another noun or pronoun in sentence to emphasize it when used in emphasis a word like herself myself yourself it is called as empathic pronoun so following examples regarding empathic pronouns are she will do it herself whereas she is in pronoun empathic pronoun and the scouts cook these cookies themselves themselves is a empathic pronoun i heard the lie myself myself is a empathic pronoun and the cat opened the door itself itself is an empathic pronoun so moving on to the next and fifth pronoun it's demonstrative pronoun a demonstrative pronoun represents a thing 
or things. For objects near in distance, it's this or these. For objects far in distance, it's that or those. In terms of singular, it's that this or that. In terms of plural, it's these or those. Example for regarding demonstrative pronouns are this tastes good, which is near and even it's singular. Have you seen this? Whereas the same thing, uh, it's singular and near. These are bad times, whereas these is a demonstrative pronoun. Do you like this? Again, these is a demonstrative pronoun. Moving on to the sixth type of pronoun, it's indefinite pronoun. An indefinite pronoun does not refer to any specific person, thing, or amount. It's a vague and not definite. Some typical indefinite pronouns are all, another, any, anybody, anyone, anything, each, everybody, and etc. Most indefinite pronouns are either singular or plural. For example, each of the players has a doctor, whereas each is indefinite. We don't know a particular value. I met two girls, one of one has given me her phone number. Many have expressed their views. So many and one are indefinite plural pronouns. So moving on to the next type of pronoun, relative pronoun. A relative pronoun is a pronoun that introduces a relative clause. It is called a relative pronoun because it's relates, it relates to the word that is relative clause modified. There are five basic relative pronouns. Who, whom, whose, which and that. Who, subject and whom, object. Are generally only for people whose is the position which is for things. That is that can be used for things and people only in defining relative clauses. For example, the person who phoned me last night is my teacher, whereas who is a relative pronoun. The car which hit me was yellow, where hit is a relative pronoun. The student whose phone just rang should stand up. My brother whose phone you just heard is a doctor, where who, whose is a relative pronoun. Moving on to the eighth and the last pronoun, interrogative pronoun. We use interrogative pronoun to ask questions. The interrogative pronoun represents the thing that is that we don't know what we are asking the question about. There are four main interrogative pronoun types, whereas who, who, what, and which are the, are the following interrogative pronouns. In terms of person, who and whom are used. In terms of thing, what is used. And in terms of person or a thing, whose and which is used in terms of interrogative pronoun. Example, who told you? Who is an interrogative pronoun in the following sentence? This one car miss. There's one car missing. Whose hasn't arrived? It is whereas whose is an interrogative pronoun. Which will the doctor see first? Which is interrogative pronoun? So thanking you. Bye-bye.